Good morning, guys. So I am with my cousin Eddie, and we are currently punching in. And uh, what's the address? We're currently on our way to JDM uh, Engine Depot. We have about a what a four or five hour drive ahead yeah, of us. Yeah, four. It says right. four hours twenty five minutes, but oh, okay. You know, well, just... luckily you guys don't have to sit with us throughout that whole trip. <laughs> but we'll give you a quick montage here. So we're just arriving. It's been about four hours now. So we're here at JDM Engine Depot in Venneville, New Jersey. Pulling up now. Shop is right yeah. there. So what's the process like? We're gonna go inside and we're gonna check out the motor and then yep. we're gonna get the compression test done. Yep. Check it out, kind of get a good overview yep. what it looks See like. See the conditions and then uh, we'll talk to TK. This is the motor we're taking a look at right now. Came off of a manual, VVTi with the ECU, and this is TK. Okay. <laughs> Soaking us up. So we've decided on a motor. We think we're gonna go for the one that already has the manual ECU wiring yep. harness. Yep. And it's already been tested by the guys as well. Mm -hmm. um, we were gonna originally test the motor, but because of the fact that the guy already said that this came off uh, off the shipment, like ready to go, no issues found with it. Right off the We bat. might just take a small leap of faith here and call it, call it a day and then grab that motor. Yep. So I think that's the motor that we're gonna end up getting but we're just gonna tie up some loose ends to make sure that this is gonna be the easiest possible setup. Because there was another motor, like, so like there was also this amazing, beautiful looking motor, but the problem is, is it has a cut harness on the back right here. Eddie's giving a phone call to his buddy just to make sure we're getting the right stuff. Do you know how much it'll cost? It'll cost to buy the, uh, the, uh, the harness and the ECU? Separately? 100, 100, 100, 100. Okay, all right. And the ECU might cost a little bit more. Yeah. So we changed our minds. Yeah. So what are we doing? We're we going with this After one. Verifying some facts, yeah. That I, think, I guess we can do the wire harness and buy the ECU separately. But. Yeah, because we're finding out that we're gonna have to redo anything, everything, anyways. So essentially, we're just trying to find a motor that we can just work with, something that's just the bare motor, because we're gonna be doing a custom ECU anyways. Right. Right. And, with the wiring uh, harness. With wiring harness. And it's gonna be an ambitious project, but. Essentially right now we're just deciding on whether or not to just get the motor or just get as much as we can for the best price that we could get. But we'll figure it out in just a second. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we changed our minds. This motor should be pretty good for what we need, but we're gonna do a compression test real quick just to make sure the numbers come out good. So TK over here was just telling me that these motors are typically between 40 to 60,000 miles on them, which is great to hear. Um, it's good to know that that's at least they take the time and the effort to verify the fact that these old yeah, engines are from good, yeah, from good former cars. All right, so we just wrapped up uh, the compression test. Dry compression, everything was around 150, and all the cylinders, once we put a little bit of lube inside each cylinder, uh, everything came out to be about 165, I wanna say, at the very end. So thanks again, TK. It's nice meeting you. Luck, yeah, yeah. Okay, we got the motor. Yeah. It is freezing. You picked up the motor for two thousand cash. Two thousand cash. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, pretty good price, man. I think that's awesome. Yes, yeah. yeah. because the condition of the transmission and the mileage on it, which is relatively low, compression was excellent on yes. all cylinders. Yeah. Uh, even so, they put a little bit of oil, and everything came out to about one sixty-five. 
Yes. Yeah, yeah even a little bit great. higher too. Even you know, a little so. bit higher in some of them, but everything was nicely consistent. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of options, so we can literally just sell all the tra the transmission. We could sell the ECU. Yes. All that stuff's profitable. So really, we got a really good deal on this motor. We yeah, think most definitely, man. Now we got to pretty much decide what we're gonna eat, <laughs> drive back, and then hopefully we can cram my engine crane into the back <laughs> of this van. But yeah, that's our next. That's our next. Uh, next endeavor. Itself, so yeah. we'll get there when we get there. Yeah. Spot right. Yeah, Big Dom is a good place for us to go eat right now. Alright, so Palin was an idiot and forgot his camera, so the rest is going to be on this cell phone. But we're now in my Bareka garage, saying hello to the TI real quick. But now we got... Wow. The engine crane all <laughs> ready to be folded up and then packed into my minivan we stopped by at my house just to get another car so we can fit a crane in one car and an engine in another. But yeah, so basically we just got to fold this crane right back up and then just load into the car, but we got to trek through all this snow, which is going to be very fun getting to the van over there. All right, so 15 minutes later, got the engine crane. You can't barely see it, of course, because this camera quality is awful, but now to London, Derry, New Hampshire. Another 40 minute drive. All right, we made it. Made it. We made it. <laughs> almost 11 right now, right? Oh, almost 11, yeah. Okay. Engine crane, clear some stuff out to make some room. All righty. So it's really cold outside, but we finally got the true Jay-Z in his final resting place temporarily. So a big issue is there's all this snow blocking the driveway up to the garage, so we couldn't get the motor into the garage for now. But we got it set down right here in Eddie's garage or actual garage. But it's gonna rest here for now until we get all that stuff sorted out. Thanks, Eddie, for inviting me down. Thanks, man. This is gonna be it, a really cool and fun project, and I can't wait to actually start tearing this me thing too, down. Man. Me so, too, man. So engine excited. stand first, and then we'll figure it out from there. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Bye. Have a good night.